Give me a tour of your studio. Over there. Just no, stand up and give me a tour of your studio. Oh my god, it's like all smaller right now. Give me a tour. Give me a tour. It's not a tour. This is my broken light. It doesn't work anymore. This, this is more of where I paint now. Of course, easel, but this thing's broken. It's not straight. We should totally hammer that out straight. Okay. Uh, that, I usually put this board on. So I have another table. So right now, it's just kind of all the crap at the moment. Show me how. Be like that. Give her the one that we saw on the sign earlier. Two ninety nine. The fan? I don't know if I have that fan brush. Might. I don't want a fan brush. I want like a fan brush. I want you to bring me that that thing over there. What thing? That lady, that that wooden thing that I can paint. What's in that cabinet over there? More stuff. Art supplies. What kind of stuff? Hammers. Stuff. Working on it. What kind of paintbrush? Just a regular. It's kind of small. Actually, it's more like looking for a small to you. What's all them pencils over there? I don't see pencils. On the wall. Oh, those are organized charcoal pencils. Light, dark. Softness of the lab. Uh, I got it. Is that one done? What do we do with this rice? I can't hear you. I need the kind of camera. What do you do with the rice? The rice is to absorb pigment that when I'm doing watercolor. I wet the surface, it's got pigment in the paper, but I want to take the pigment away, so you're going to put the rice on, or a grain that absorbs, okay. and it'll, All right. it'll pull the pigment out. Alright, so a lot of people use cat litter for that, why don't you? Never had a cat, so I don't have cat litter access. Alright. I just mean like oil shops, or like, like oil change places. That's what they do. When they spill oil on the ground, they just throw cat litter on it. Yeah. It's environmentally friendly because you can just throw it away. It absorbs like hella fast. Yeah, it absorbs probably way better than rice. No, it doesn't. It's kind of a uh, cat. Alright, you right, spill like a whole restaurant full of napkins. Look at that. Oh, that's just a small amount. There's more down there. Yeah. What? That's why I'm going to be selling on the street. It's cheap, easy to make. Like, less than probably like 10 bucks to make this or less. And someone will probably pay me like 60 bucks or something for that. Pretty bad, yeah. You can make probably like 30 or so of those. Like, did, you make with that, did you make it with that spray paint right there? Yeah, that's just some fluorescent spray paint right there. Oh. I gotta get a different kind. This is an acrylic, but it's it's still fuming. It's not what I want. Like iron lac, it's a way better spray. Like which is this stuff? Because uh, you can spray it inside. These are like wow, the house smells. That's screen printing stuff. So 
It's like the, probably some of the most ex expensive screen printing you should buy. But uh, I haven't really used them. But uh, book binding, I'll do that too. So I make books for people. Yeah. Okay. Lots of paper. A lot of expensive paper in there too. That stuff. It's like eight bucks or nine bucks a sheet. What do you use those weights for? Nothing really, but uh. Do you lift them? I used to. I don't know. They're kind of light. Hey, what are you using? Which one? Canvas? Uh, oh, is that a canvas? Yeah, that's just straight canvas on, on gesso. Wow. You I've never seen one unstretched. You can just stretch it and paint on top of it. Wow. Uh, are these frames on here? These guys are actually wooden boards for uh, sculptures I haven't made. Mm -hmm. But I'll probably end up. And one day staining this, and I'll probably be part of some big project. It's pretty badass. I didn't want to let them go when we moved, so here they are. Oh my god, it's look at this for over here. Thanks. Plus repairs, it absorbs, and uh, I use it for more of a texture thing, like, uh, like this kind of thing. That. That's pretty neat looking. Uh, it's really a uh, low chromatic painting because uh, it is absorbs. Like I, I put the pretty much the best thing that you buy on it. It absorbs it too much. You can't really. There's no way around it. I haven't tried to kill it like that primer that they use to uh, patch cylinders, but uh, that's the next thing to try. Tight. And those are just mediums for acrylic, which will give you that uh, that texture. Tight. Tight. This, this stuff. This stuff. Tight. That's screen printing, which was the pink, Tight. pink design. Right there. Is that it? Playing around here? Yeah, possibly. Alright. So how do you two?